Namaste, welcome all of you. Today, again, I am back with a solution related to conditional trigonometric identities. You are observing the question on the screen, and the condition given in the question is a plus b plus c is equal to pi. And you need to prove sine 2 a plus sine 2 b plus sine 2 c is equal to 4 sine a into sine b into sine c. So uh, let me take LHS here. So taking LHS, left hand side, we have sine 2 a plus sine 2 b plus sine 2 c. And uh, in this step, if we take these first two terms and compare with a formula sin c plus sin d, then it can be written as 2 sin 2a plus 2b by 2 into cos 2a minus 2b by 2. So how this comes? Uh, this is the formula that you can see here sin c plus sin d is equal to 2 sin c plus d by 2 into cos c minus d by 2. So here in the question 2a is written in place of c this one and 2b is written in place of d if we compare with the formula. And this sin 2c can be written as 2 sin c into cos c and this is also one of the formula again you can see here sin 2c has the formula 2 sin c into cos c so now in uh, after this step uh, you can see that in the angle portion 2 in the numerator is common so taking 2 common from both 2a and 2b uh, and cancelling 2 from the numerator and denominator, we get a plus b. So that means 2 is common in the angle and a and b remains inside the bracket, denominator is 2, you can see here so these two and two get cancelled and that can be written as a plus b this two is the coefficient we'll write the same and similar to the first part in in the second part also taking two common and cancelling two from both numerator and denominator we can write cos a minus b and these two sin c into cos c will be the same now what we will do after this step is we will convert this sin a plus b in the form of angle c you can do that uh, from this given condition like if a plus b plus c is equal to pi c can be taken on the right side it will be pi minus c and if we keep sine on both left and right side then sine a plus b is equal to sine pi minus c and again that can be written as sine c so here uh, you need to know one more condition I think you know the cast rule so according to the cast rule in the second quadrant that is if the angle is between 90 degree and 180 degree then sine value will be positive that's why we do not change the sign here and sine a plus b will be equals to just sin c not minus sin c so now it becomes sin a plus b uh, is equals to sin c cos a minus b will be same and this one is again repeated same 
and after this step now you can see in the first part and in the second part sin c is common so let's take sin c common okay two sin c common from both the terms and uh, after that what remains uh, inside the bracket cos a minus b and cos c will be inside the bracket so this can be written as uh, in this way uh, so 2 sin c that was the common cos a minus b and cos c uh, that was the remaining part from um, the above step so after this step again uh, we will now reconvert angle c in the form of a and b so how can we do that in the same way that we have done for sin like 2 sin c will be same cos a minus b is same now this plus cos c can be written as cos sorry minus cos c you can see uh, this step so how minus comes here again is the same from the cast rule so if you remember the cast rule uh, pi minus c it means angle less than 180 degree that lies in the second quadrant and we have already studied that only sine and cosec will have positive value in second quadrant uh, rest of all other trigonometric races will have negative value here so that's why we will write minus cos c for cos a plus b so uh, or the reverse so uh, instead of plus cos c we are writing minus cos a plus b here so after this uh, these and these two terms cos a minus b minus cos a plus b can again be converted into a formula that you should keep in mind and the formula is yes to sin a into sin b and to sin c it is the common and we are writing the same this comes from the formula mentioned here and after that if we multiply 2 and to the coefficient we will give the product 4 and uh, rest sin a sin b and sin c are in product form so this is what we need to prove in right hand side therefore lhs and rhs are equal this condition is proved so I hope you enjoyed the video again and if there are any comments whether you enjoyed the video or not um, and again if you have any other questions that you need you want me to solve then please write in the comment box I will join you in the next video thank you for watching